just didn't have any money for torches either so this was an absolute fail on my on my part and let's get into the biome as fast as possible otherwise we're screwed come on hurry up get out of the way it's time i need to go check my stuff Welcome back everybody, Imsi here with another video and today I want to show you my second episode of my Terraria playthrough. Our goal today is to try and make as much early game progress as possible while also being as efficient as possible as well. So first of all we're going to go to the snow biome once again. I definitely recommend the snow biome as the starting biome for your exploration because there's so much that you can get in the snow biome. And the first thing we're going to do here is I'm going to show you guys a little trick. And the trick is, if you're doing a summoner playthrough, you're going to be looking for these spiders that you see at the bottom left of your screen. And these spiders will give you one of the best summons in the game up until late game or pretty much late hard mode. So what I want to do is I want to make sure I remember where they are. For when I hit hard mode so I can come straight here and farm them for their gear. So the first thing you want to do is make a little bit of a space near them and try not to destroy their biome because in early game if you destroy their biome they might not grow back. Sometimes that happens so you have to be very careful and I, I need walls so I'm building some dirt wall. You probably don't need to do this most of the time. It depends on what layer you're at. I'm at cavern layer so I need to put some dirt wall down behind and I'm going to put some dirt wall down and then I'm going to mark this area on the map for my future self to remember where these spiders are. Now, they're pretty close to the surface, actually, so that's a very lucky find. And they're in the snow biome right next to our base. So this is pretty, very lucky, actually. Uh, so what you do is you make an arrow. You make an arrow with your torches. And making this arrow comes up on your map. So now I have a gigantic arrow to show me where the spiders are in hard mode. So, uh, let's keep going and try and make some progress now in early game while we have a chance and forget about those spiders until later. So, sorry that I didn't make a video as soon as I was expecting to. I didn't realize how difficult it is to make Terraria videos, so shout out to any Terraria YouTubers. I'm a full-time Twitch streamer, so I only have one or two days a week for YouTube, uh, depending on how busy my week is, really. And I find that with the amount of footage you have to collect and edit and then pretty much talk over, you're looking at hours upon hours of work editing and rendering. I love every second of it, so I'm not complaining, but I'm a little bit late on this upload. And I don't know when I'm going to upload the next one, hopefully in two weeks. If not, it'll be a month from now. And it's simply because I, I could make shorter videos, but in the interest of progression, because we're not here for the rest of our bloody lives doing this um, playthrough. I'm interested in doing at least two hours, if not three hours of gameplay. And then cut it down to, say, 20 minutes of watch time. As you can see here, we got so lucky in this biome with the heart drops. We managed to get seven health drops in one biome. Or in one, one area, really. And that is one reason why I love the ice biome so much. I know I'm kind of moving over to the normal biome a little bit, but the way it works is the ice biome is very good for very good weapons and very good armor, of course, because you can get platinum, tungsten, and so on. But also, I find that the snow biome has a ton of health. So if you're starting off early game and you want to get a load of health early, then make sure that you start off in the, in the snow biome. I always go to the snow biome first, to find the snow cannon. The snow cannon is a very good ranged weapon that I find it has pretty much an infinite ammo because the biome is full of snow. But of course, you don't always have to go for the snow biome. Snow biome is good if you find it early, but if you take too long to find it, sometimes it's not worth it. And we're just gonna try and get some upgrades to our character today. So our goal for today is get as many accessories as we can, get as much health as we can, and get the best weapons that we can as well. And of course, armor too. So we're looking at at least tungsten armor, and if possible, platinum armor by the end of this playthrough, or the end of this 
uh, video just so we can take on the Eye of Cthulhu as soon as possible. And I, I just find that once you get the ball rolling, the early game really starts to take off. The early game is my favorite part of Terraria because it's when you're at your weakest and you have to be at your best. And I mean, the, the one thing about Terraria is once you get to a certain level, you become so strong, it's very difficult for your enemies to kill you. But if, you, if you're playing the early game and you enjoy it because of how weak you are, then I feel like it's the it's the most fun part of Terraria, even though it's the slowest part of Terraria also. I also believe that we got very lucky in this playthrough. We're very efficient and we're also getting very lucky, of course, with the health drops and the accessories. And I hope we're going to get some ores as well, which, of course, we're going to find in any biome. One of the biggest things about this playthrough uh, for me, or one of the, the the things that I really want to do is I really want to be as quick as possible getting all the good loot, good gear, and good drops. I don't want to be grinding for gear or grinding for drops, drops if possible, because that can slow down your playthrough immensely. And as I said, hopefully we're ready for the Eye of Cthulhu by the next video. When it comes to our health, of course, there is a health cap. And what I mean by health cap now is I mean you can affect your world by how much health you have. So if you're a very new player, be very careful not to go above, I think it's 220 health too early on, maybe 240, because you can end up spawning in mobs that you're not ready for. Like I, I don't really mind what mobs spawn in the early game. I think it's only pretty much Blood Moon and the Pirate Invasion, or not the Pirate Invasion, the Goblin Invasion, sorry, Pirate Invasion is, is, is um, early hard mode. But either way, I'm, I don't think I'm going to have any problems with the Goblin Invasion. And even if I die a lot, if I'm not ready, you guys can laugh at how bad it goes. I think I am ready, though. I have plenty of health now, 320. And we're going to be moving up in, in the world as well. So I'm just going to turn some of my uh, ore into bars and see if we can get some armor upgrades, see if we can get some other upgrades as well. And... Might as well. I, I re regularly come to the surface, even in the middle of a run, just to clean up the inventory a tiny bit because the inventory can get very messy sometimes. And I just find that if if you have a messy inventory, it's very hard to pick things up. And I I have the worst inventory management ever. I do have a trick that I can show you guys to help your inventory management, but that'll come later. For now, we're just gonna try and get rid of as much crap as we can while we have a chance, and we're. Got to convert, as I said, all these ores into bars. Try and get the best armor I can. And, ah, oh, shit. I hit the wrong button. Now, I'm after using all of my potions, including my Spelunker potion, which I was saving for earlier. So, I need to get into the underground as quick as possible. And the funny thing about this is, I don't have any, well, I didn't have any torches. You probably noticed that I was using... Um, the other items that you can use for light and uh, I just didn't have any money for torches either so this was an absolute fail on my heart on my part and let's get into the biome as fast as possible otherwise we're screwed come on hurry up get out of the way it's time I need to go check my stuff ah oh, fuck I'm sorry, guys. I, I, uh, there we go again. I'm cursing. What a waste of a Spelunker potion. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Back to the playthrough. We can get more Spelunker potions. I'll, I'll collect the items required for them. Back into the biome. This is the other snow biome. And I don't know about you guys, but I, I love exploring the caves in this game. I think most Terraria players do. Most real Terraria players like to explore the caves in this game. If you find a cave that you don't have to dig into, it's very exciting because the worst thing that can happen in a Terraria playthrough is you spend so much time digging a hole that the, the game just takes forever. And if you, if you can find caves like this that get you a shortcut into the cavern lair, it's so much better. Some people actually use uh, caverns or they use um, the holes to get to, the, to get to hell sooner. And uh, some of them go all the way down to hell. It's insane. And as you could see from that little area there, I was trying to see 
if you can get the light from the hat. Uh, if you have it in the accessory slot, you can't, which means you're going to reduce your armor by using the digging helmet. But I suppose it's better for footage, especially if I'm running out of torches, because I'll be a bit brighter. And I just find that, especially in this biome, that the, the enemies can be quite strong. So you have to be very careful and you have to be able to see what you're doing. So either always have torches or always go get torches or use the mining helmet from the beginning as soon as you have enough gold. And we're getting very lucky with, with chests in this playthrough so far. I mean, we've found so many chests in the course. I think I've, I think this is probably about three and a half hours into the playthrough. And in three and a half hours, we're finding a lot of items. And we're also finding a lot of health, of course. And we have a nice house going. We have a small arena for Eye of Cthulhu. So everything seems to be going pretty good. And we're getting very lucky. We also have a mine shaft available as well, which we can use to explore a little bit more of the underground area. And hopefully we find some other items and other accessories that will help our playthrough along. I've mentioned this a few times, but I'm going to be doing, say, 15 to 20 minutes worth of video. Just so you guys can see the highlights of what I'm doing. If you notice that I have an item that I didn't show you me getting, make sure you point it out. I think I showed almost every item that I get. Unless it's something insignificant, like I don't really show me collecting iron or platinum. Well, platinum sometimes because it's rare, but if I'm collecting iron, I don't really show that because everyone can collect iron and this is a bit different. Uh, plus, it takes so long to dig, especially with the platinum pickaxe. So we're getting more health drops. We're getting more chests. That chest was a little bit useless, but other than that, we're doing pretty good. And I kind of had an oversight here there was probably another house down to the left so i need to come back here as soon as i can and see if i can find another house on the left i bet you any money that i that there is another one there i kind of got distracted by the fact that there's a health drop here also you probably noticed that my inventory is getting really bad if i throw away something that you guys wouldn't normally throw away don't go nuts i kind of just want to get this stuff into my inventory and get moving i don't want to be waiting around inventory management in this game is awesome because it makes you work hard but also a pain in the arse and some mods in terraria actually allow you to blacklist items that you don't pick up so for example i won't pick up mud or i won't pick up dirt or whatever even though dirt and mud are actually quite important so if say for example just random blocks i'm not going to start picking them up automatically and i like that i like that i would like to use a mod like that so I'm going to show you a little bit more of the snow biome now and a couple of items that we didn't get so far. Well, obviously, you notice that we haven't got the snowball cannon. I have the boomerang, however, and I think the boomerang might be good enough to cancel out the need for the snowball cannon. I could be wrong. It depends on what we use the snowball cannon for. Like, I would probably be using the, um, the meteor gun for Skeletron. And the meteor gun for Wall of Flesh, possibly. And for Ive Cthulhu, I can use the boomerang. And I think for Eater of the Worlds, I can use the boomerang as well. So we probably don't need the snowball cannon in this playthrough anymore. Which means we're almost done with, this, with the snow biome, really. The only things that I could get in the snowball, uh, in, in the snow biome that I would actually want are the ice gate, which would be useful for upgrading our boots later. And I could also possibly get an ice mirror. Uh, I don't know if I already have one in my inventory. I don't think I do. We'll have a look later. And I also would like to get a couple of other items like the yo-yo that you get in hard mode. But that comes later. Of course, the spider staff later on when we marked it. I mean, you can find spiders anywhere, but we found one in the snow biome. So might as well use that one. And I think that's really much it. The items that we get in the uh, ice, the snow biome have been more limited now. Of course, health as well. As I said, health is more abundant in the snow biome than anywhere else that I've, I've noticed over my years playing this game. So, but we will we'll find life crystals in other places. But we still need to go to the normal biome at some stage and get the aglet. 
and we also need to get the anklet in the forest or the uh, jungle. So we have a lot of smaller items to get in other biomes, and that will lead us to more heart crystals. So we should be fine. But I feel like we're we're almost done with the with the snow biome. In other words, I don't think we're going to go for the snowball cannon in this playthrough. But just so you guys know, if you ever get an e an early snowball cannon, it can work wonders because you can kill almost anything with it and that includes Skeletron. If you use the Snowball Cannon and you're doing a ranged only playthrough, for example, you're not gonna be able to use the Meteor Gun so you, because it's magic. So you could use the Snowball Cannon instead. And of course, an early Snowball Cannon allows you to kill Ive Cthulhu pretty quickly too. But as I said, we're gonna be using either the Boomerang or the Ice Blade because Ice Blade is a huge pickup. I find the Ice Blade is very good for in particular flying enemies like bats and stuff because bats are very hard to hit with the boomerang if you miss them you have to wait for the boomerang to come back whereas if you use the ice blade you can hit them with the projectile and you can hit them with the melee part of it as well so we're very very lucky with our items and i feel like we're definitely done with the snowball biome now i'm just going to have a little look around just for anything else that i can find i don't think there's anything else we're going to be able to get here but while I have open caverns, I might as well. As long as I'm not trying to dig a hole and dig around the entire area with a very slow pickaxe, because that would be a pain in the arse, and it would be horrible. It would take way too long. The snowball cannon is not worth that. You want to get it early. And I'm going to shut up about the snowball cannon now. I'm just going to say snowball cannon a couple of more times. Snowball cannon, snowball cannon, just to get it out of my system. I love the snowball cannon, but we're not going to go for it this time. So... Uh, one thing I like about the snow biome is the enemies. The enemies are very diverse and they're not too difficult. I mean, they have some difficulty in them, especially if you don't get as much health as I have been getting uh, so early on. But I find that they're very, uh, they're not easy, but they're, they're medium. They're not as difficult as other biomes, which is good. And if you can kill all these enemies without dying, then you should be fine to take on the corruption uh, enemies as well. Corruption enemies are strong. But once you get to a point where you can take on snowball or snow enemies quickly, I promised I wouldn't mention snowball again, and there I go. And once you can take on these enemies quickly, you could probably take on the corruption enemies as well. So as you can see, I'm fighting a nymph at the moment, and nymph drops the nymph banner, something that used to be super rare in Terraria. It's no longer as rare as it used to be. It depends on how much Terraria you play, really. As far as I remember, it was one of the rarest banners in the game by literally just, it doesn't drop very often. But now I think if you kill 15 nymphs, you get the, the banner. So you can look that up on the Terraria wiki if, if it's not 15. But I don't really care about the banner, to be honest. Especially not anymore that it became a guaranteed drop. I only am interested in rare things and rare drops. So we picked up another item here, and that is it for now. So that is going to be that for our playthrough or our episode. Thank you very much for hanging out with us today. I'll be back in two to four weeks with the next episode of Terraria. I'm going to try and get into a routine as well. So as soon as you see a bit of routine coming in the videos, you'll know a bit more when they are due. So just keep an eye out. I'll also be doing mini videos here and there, showing you guys how to do little tips and tricks in Terraria. But thank you very much for hanging out with us today. I will see you again soon. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment below. And thank you very much for watching.